Hello everyone, my name is Mel and today I'm going to show you and I'm going to teach you on how to do some liner cut. Like uh, we're going to do some little illustrations via lino and we're going to carve into it. Actually this is a little something we do on the graphic design course on IYZ and on uh, BA as well. So first of all, what you need is an illustration that you're going to draw, that you're going to cut. Preferably you should make the illustration yourself because like plagiarism and some stuff. But if you don't have any imagination, you can take something from Pinterest. The illustration I'm gonna do is this little Lova with his little friend. Um, I already prepared it beforehand, so we would not waste any time on me brainstorming what to draw. And uh, after you prepared your illustration, or maybe you printed out something from the Pinterest, there are a lot of different illustrations that you can copy, that you can uh, do if you want. Just remember to preferably use your own. You're going to transfer it to the lino. I'm not sure if it is quite visible because the lino cut and uh, the pencil stencil is also like both really dark but the important part is that i can see it and i hope you can see your illustration as well so now we're going to work with the line of cut carving tools these are really sharp so i recommend if you are a really little kid you be supervised by someone who is an adult or if you are an adult just be careful please we're going to use mostly U-cutting tool and V-cutting tool. They have different shapes and different purposes. If you already worked with liner cut, you know what I mean. If you don't, don't worry, you will figure it out um, during the process. If you can see clearly my hands and what I'm doing, yes. Remember that uh, working with liner cut is something like working with a negative space. So everything that you are cutting out will be missing from your illustration. And what, so you need to keep that in mind. And in my illustration, I want the, the contours of the line to be visible. So I will be carrying everything around the contours. And I want his beautiful mane to be visible as well. So I'm gonna cutting everything. I'm gonna cut everything else, uh, excluding the mane and the bird as well. So now we just cut, remembering to be really careful so we don't cut our fingers off. This is gonna be quite an difficult, maybe if you never worked with this tools process. Also, it's gonna take quite some time because. Well, there are quite a lot of space that we need to cut out, but trust the process, it will be all worth it. Actually, liner cut is a traditional printing technique, one of the traditional printing techniques. It is being used quite in a lot of spheres, for example, illustrations. Uh, you can make ex excalibris with it, if I'm pronouncing it right, it's like a little stamps that uh, usually people use to mark their books in their personal libraries. Also, lion cut can be used to print on clothes if you have a proper, uh, proper like fabric paint. And generally, it is quite a nice tool to have in your hard skills because it can generally help you with um, creating some unique artworks. Okay, yeah. So why are we using two different shapes of tools? It is because two different shapes serve two different purposes. Mainly V-cutting shape that is quite an angular looking one. So like the, this one that does look like V. It helps you with creating the tiny little cuts. It helps you with defining the contours. And the U-cutting shape is the second one that looks more of a soft, that has like more of a soft feeling to it. It helps you with um, removing really big chunks of lino because it is kind of easier to do with a big tool. So as you can see, I'm carving out everything surrounding the lion's mane. And I also carved out his little cute face 
leaving just his eyes and his nose. Also, I remember to leave out some uh, pieces of line here, so his ears would be more defined and would have a contour around, like uh, that would separate his ears from his face. That's what I'm talking about, what I said, that Lino is about working with negative spaces. So everything that you do not want to be on your illustrations, for example, I don't want his face to be all black or all red, whatever paint I'm gonna use. I'm cutting it out. And I'm gonna do uh, the same process on his little body and on his little book as well. I would also recommend using some different hatching techniques to add some texture. For example, here on his mane, I want to do like some little, I don't know, lines. So his mane would have a bit more texture and not just one big black klaxa. Okay, now that we're done cutting the lino, um, like you can see that in some places I accidentally, I accidentally made some holes, but that's okay. You can see some holes here and there in some places. Uh, happily, it will not affect our illustration anyhow, because these are the negative spaces that will not be printed out to the paper. And you can also see that in some places I accidentally like tore into the contour. But again, that's not a big deal. Stuff happens, we're all learning, so that's okay. So now that we're left with the uh, liner cut and some garbage that we will throw away, we need to prepare the painting surface. For that, we will need some glass, some rollers, and our big, like really big press. Let me get the glass first. Okay, we're removing everything that we don't need anymore. Here's our first glass, and I will take the second glass in a second. Okay, so now we have our two surfaces. So now we're going to print our line cut. I already did some test prints just to check if everything was okay, if I'm doing everything right. So now I'm going to walk you through it. We're gonna use uh, just basic acrylic paint, nothing fancy, nothing special. I'm using some, I'm not even sure what the name of it is. I'm using the red color because I'm doing the lion, our little mascot thing, and uh, I want it to be red. Then we're gonna use this type of roller. It's not the squishy ones, it's more of a, like the hard texture ones. We're gonna just roll the paint out evenly so it will be easier for us to cover the liner card itself. I think I might need just a little bit more paint. So I'm gonna squeeze it right here onto the glass. We're using the glass just so we would not um, damage the table. Just That's the only reason. Now we're just rolling it out, evenly preferably. And then we can transfer it to our liner cut. Just as easy as this. We're trying to cover it all evenly, so everything will be printed out. And right now, if you can see, uh, the red parts are the positives that I left out. Those are going to be printed. We're using the press in our workshop, in our university. If you don't have this type of press at home, which I think you don't, you can just use a spoon. Just place your lino first, then a piece of paper, and I'm gonna do it with the roller, you can do it with a spoon. Just uh, with some circular motions, put some pressure onto the piece of paper, but not too much pressure, otherwise the paper is going to be stuck. And as simple as that. Now, the moment of truth. How cute it is. Here's our little friend. And as you can see, with our lino in comparison, it kind of mirrored the image. So that's also one thing that you need to keep in mind, especially when you're working with text. 
I would uh, show you how to work with text, but I am dyslexic. Text is hard for me, not even in the mirrored way. And uh, the best part about Linocut, you can print it as many times as you want. So here is, for example, my test print. Here is the print I showed you. There are also some prints that are not as successful as I wanted them to be. You need to just wash it up with simple water and soap. You can use like any type of soap, literally. Then pet it dry with some papers or, I don't know, some napkins and use it all over again. Isn't that cool? Thank you for watching this little masterclass tutorial line cut thing. I hope you really enjoyed it and I wish you the best in your art endeavors. If you will do any type of line cuts, so you can just tag our Instagram account if you're gonna post them. We would love to see how you did. See you later, alligator.